Hey frogs, today I want to make my first English video for you. So sorry for my English skills, they are not the best. Um, today I'm using Mastercast. It's a little bit more high wishes. Um, that means it's thicker and you can reach more effects with that. If your resin is too, um, too liquid, you don't get that um, many effects and cells and stuff like that. Here it is. Um, then I'm using white pigment paste from the same company. It's called Resi Tint Max Titanium White. Um, with white pigment paste I always get my uh, cells and everything. It doesn't work with... Um, pulver pigments and here I'm using beige pigment paste from Just Resin, an Australian company and this black pearl um, pulver pigment, a uh, powder pigment, I'm sorry, uh, from the powder pigment scent set Vitaria from Amazon. I will link everything for you in my description box. And always read my description box because um, sometimes I forget uh, important information and then I put them down. So first I'm going to, um, to mix my resin. Um, the mixing ratio is 1 to 1 by volume or 1 to 0 0.9. <laughs> by by gram yes and I don't like to mix it by volume because I'm unsure unsure if it's right it doesn't feel that uh, <laughs> that good so I'm mixing it by gram and uh, I will cut the process process of mixing because it takes so so long if you want to see the whole process of mixing you can uh, watch my basic uh, video um, in future I will post all my videos in English um, you can see them they will have a English flag and then you know this is the English video where I'm talking in English and not in German um, I also have videos with English subtitles. I have a playlist English subtitles so you can come to my channel and look. Yes. Don't steer too fast. If you steer too fast you will get very <clears throat> much bubbles, a lot of bubbles <clears throat> and that's a not too good <clears throat> And your resin is mixed if you don't see strikes in, in your cup and mix uh, several minutes. I mix like three minutes or four. It depends <coughs> on the resin. Um, if your resin is thick, very thick, it's harder to mix um, it properly. It takes more time. If it's liquid, like water, it will mix very fast, very good. So here you can see my molds. Um, they are from Chromate. <coughs> Sorry. Um, she has Instagram. But I also uh, have seen them on Amazon. But they are always uh, sold out, unfortunately. So I first put clear resin on my um, gold leaf and um, if you put clear resin first you also get different effects than without clear resin. So uh, play and exper experiment. Um, yes. Uh, 
I mostly use paper cups because um, you can squeeze them and then it's a uh, Wait, I'm looking for the word. Ah, it's easier to put your resin into the mold. So I decided to put clear resin all over the mold, <clears throat> not just in the middle. Sometimes I just do it in the middle, sometimes all over the mold. You will always get a different effect. And pay attention to the gold leaf because sometimes uh, bubbles get under the gold leaf and um, when your piece is finished go and live your life and <clears throat> then you go come the next day and there is a big big bottle, uh, bubble uh, from your gold leaf because they hide under the gold leaf so um, Go with the stick into the gold leaf so all the bubbles are gone. Yes, I hope this video is not too creepy. <coughs> so as you can see, I put my white pigment paste into the resin. It's very high pigmented so you don't need a lot of pigment I um, always play with a combination of pigment paste and powder pigments it's um, I think the most interesting combination interesting so here's the beige pigment paste from Just Resin it's an Australian company they have delivery costs to Germany like uh, for uh, 15 euros or 30 euros if you buy heavy things. Yes, also he here you don't need a lot of pigment paste. And um, also steer properly because um, if you don't do it um, and your coaster is cured, it can happen that there are lines of pigment paste and your fingers will have paint on it later. But this happened just one time in my life. So don't be scared. You also can reuse your cups. Um, several times and also your sticks and theoretically also your gloves but you need to take them off carefully so the resin can dry <clears throat> cure yes and then you can put them on next day Also here you don't need a lot of pigment, it's also very good pigmented.
sometimes little pieces of <coughs> pigment paste, no, <coughs> of powder pigment um, will come to the will come to the oh, I'm sorry I need Google Translate next to me I will explain this next time sorry <laughs> so the I think the 190 gram will um, be for two molds I just begin with the outer corner, whatever, with the white, and it, it doesn't have it doesn't have to look good in the beginning because the the resin will make its magic during night during curing, and then it will look totally different. Maybe another good information is that when you work for resin, the humidity in your room uh, doesn't have to be more than 50%, but it also depends on the resin. It's um, with Ultra Cast XT, um, not over 50%. <clears throat> There's a um, a uh, cheap resin in Germany from Dipon, there you can have 70% and if your humidi humidity is more than that you can get strikes on the surface. You can also get strikes on the surface <clears throat> when you work in cold rooms because resin has a temperature, a best temperature where you can work with it. If it's too high or too low you will get problems with it it won't cure it gets strikes it, it will be sticky and stuff like that and also um now it's very very hot in germany and um i get so many messages that there that people can't get off their coasters from the molds and it will stick on on some points very hard and they destroy the mold it's because it's um, so hot and humid at, at this time so yeah summer is not the best time uh, unfortunately but uh, there are also um, like machines you can put in your room which filters the humidity out of the room <clears throat> so I think um, I can make three molds here and not only two but it will be thinner than the other two twos mm -hmm. and it will look totally different so you can see there are so many options you make it thick you make it thin and it will look different that's because I love it you don't need to have a talent, it will always be wonderful and beautiful and it's always a surprise, it's always like uh, Christmas when you uh, wait and look the next day on it.
when I have too much resin left. Um, I bought little silicone molds and then I put my leftover there so it's no um, so you don't lose your resin. For example, I make little magnets or for Christmas um, the things you put on a tree. Yes, I will Google it later. <clears throat> so now I torch it because bubbles uh, come to the surface and with heat you can remove them but don't stay um, too long on one spot. Moin, meine Untersitzer sind jetzt Yes, abgehärtet. so here's the next day. I Und, waited like um, 10 hours or something, but it depends on the uh, resin. It's, uh, you can read it on the website or on the bottle. Aber es ist auch von yes. Harz um, zu Harz unterschiedlich, wie lange die aushärten. Das sollte dann, um, so you can see my bottom is matte, matte. That's because um, the molds are old and after time they get matte and get scratches. Yes, that happens with every mold after time. So after that I'm doing a gold edge. It will look so good. I think you can see it on the thumbnail. And I will make a second layer to make them heat resistant. Heat so resistant uh, is ultra cast um, XT fertig. or um, optimum viscosity from resin for decor. I will um, link them in my XT. Das ist auch von So I thank you so much. I'm so sorry for my Oder, English. I will improve. Um, for Deco, and thank you for being here and uh, enjoy your day, guys. Falls ihr euch fragt, welche Goldfarben es gibt, ich habe noch ein Gold. Bye bye. Oh, visit me on Instagram.